I was very stressed out about midterm exams. It wasn't something that I had experienced in high school, and so I was very stressed out about studying for midterms, but they came and they went, and they didn't end the world, and just studying and preparing for them made a difference and ended up doing well. Good. It wasn't as good as I would have liked it to be. Um, I always did really good in high school, so I didn't really have to study then. I think now I realize that um, you can't just put off work till the end. It's much more like you gotta be on top of it. If they're bad, it's not the end of the world, but it's easier to keep your grade good than bring it back up. But it was more of, you know, just a, like a wake-up call than a, you know, a real dead set, you know, fork in the road. I mean, afterwards, it, it really wasn't that big of a deal. You still had the rest of the semester to, you know, change or maintain what you done so far. So. They were all really good except for my psychology grade. Um, I knew that they were going to get sent my grades so I was very nervous about that because I knew I'd only had one test in the class and I didn't do well on the test so I knew it wasn't like the best reflection of how I was doing in the class. I mean I was going to class taking notes participating but I had done bad on that one test so I knew it was going to be really low and something I wasn't used to. Um, so I kind of warned my parents and told them that, but you know, midterm grades, they were kind of just like, you see it and you're shocked and you know, you realize, hey, like that can't be on my final. So you kind of work from there. Uh, midterm grades were okay. They weren't bad. They weren't anything spectacular, but it really is nothing new for them for me to bring home mediocre grades in midterm. So no, I wasn't, I wasn't too worried about it. People that seem to have trouble in those classes were the ones that either didn't sleep, or didn't get enough sleep, or uh, just never did the homework. So that's, I mean, that's all you really have to do is show up awake and do the homework. Uh, you just need to make sure that you're ready. And college tests are, sometimes they're not that hard, but you can't underestimate them. It's a lot of information and they expect you to know it. There's no redos like in high school where maybe if you do really bad on a test, the teacher will give you infinite amounts of extra credit or something to make up for it. If you get a bad grade, you're probably going to be stuck with it. It's, it's a good thing to make new friends. It's a good thing to meet new people, but they can also lead to distractions. So um, finding a balance is important. So uh, make sure you get plenty of sleep and don't put off your assignments until the last minute. I mean, what worked for me is I just did my homework first and whatever time was left was for friends, other people. If you have a class from 9 to 10 and then from 11 to 12, use that time in between them to study or get a paper written out if you have a little reflection paper or something. That way later that night when everyone's hanging out and trying to have fun or watching their favorite show, Grey's Anatomy Night or something, you're not stuck doing your homework. A lot of that has to do with like planning ahead. I think with the school, like you have to realize that that comes first, but that the social life is important. For me, I would not be able to do anything about my planner. Um, I really struggled my sophomore year with saying no to commitments because I wanted to do it all, and I think it's really important to figure out what is the most important, and then pick that one major activity to go along with school. Um, I tried to be an RA and do my trial and education and work, and it just wasn't happening. 